Hi folks, welcome back. I'm Lynn with PFM Arts and I wanted to show you the Fab Find Friday, maybe to give you some ideas about what you can find at your local thrift store. And just as a disclaimer, not all thrift stores are the same. Let me tell you, I've been to probably about 20 around here and there's only one that's actually like really good that has stuff that I'm really interested in at, you know, a good price. So don't give up. If you can't find anything at whatever thrift store you're going to, try a different one. Um, maybe even take a day and go thrift store shopping or junk journal. Um, junk journal acquisition program. Mm, that's always good. Okay, so I just want to start and show you some of the things that I bought. And this was um, in, in one trip to the thrift store because they actually had a lot of good things today when I went. All right, let me clear off a spot and we can start. All right, so first thing, notebooks. I probably should have organized this a little bit better, but I didn't. All right, so notebooks. I always find various degrees of notebooks. Like this is just a regular composition notebook and this is an Aerosmith notebook. It actually doesn't have very many pages still left in it, but it's still usable and at a price of 25 cents you can't beat that so obviously you could dye these pages uh, you could use them as is stencil them stamp on them i know a lot of people are maybe hesitant to use notebook paper but i really like it i think i mean it's still just paper and then sometimes depending on the notebook paper i found that when i go to dye it Sometimes the lines actually completely disappear off the pages, so you don't even really know that it's notebook paper. So, notebooks, this one was 50 cents. This is actually almost an entire journal, and perhaps I won't use this in junk journaling. Maybe I'll actually use this as a notebook. Another thing that I found is I found this really cute stationery pack for 25 cents. I'm not exactly sure how much is in here, but there is ribbon on here, and I'll definitely recycle this. And, okay, I have a couple of sheets of stationery here and then a couple of really cute envelopes on the left and the right. And, actually, even though this outside container is a little bit shiny, I think I could probably still use that. I think that this would actually look really cute if it was fussy cut it, fussy cut it, if I fussy cut it, yeah, there we go, if we fussy, fussy cut it out. And then I could actually use this border as well, maybe for a belly band or, or a tuck spot. Same thing over here and here. So this is almost 100% usable, and that was just a quarter, so good deal. All right, I found some Christmas labels. Uh, the outside of the package is kind of it's a little gross, but the labels inside are... Oh, that came from Walmart. Look at that. Labels inside are fine. I'm just curious how many are in here, and as a matter of fact, I'm probably just going to throw this packaging away because it is pretty darn gross. Okay, it's just two sheets. Oh, no, wait, three. Three sheets. Okay, three sheets, not bad. And I get a piece of cardboard. That's fantastic. A chance to win $250. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, that was 50 cents. That's well worth 50 cents. Throw that in the trash. It looks gross. Mm. I guess I could reuse this. Actually, I'll probably use that for note paper. All right, so cool. It'll be cute for a winter, a winter theme. I realize that it's spring, but you always got to be collecting, or at least I'm always collecting. So this was something really weird. Uh, so this was $2, and it's like a receipt book, but for teachers. And obviously this isn't going to like completely go with like any type of theme journal that you're doing, but... I actually just thought it was really cool and the paper kind of has an, a nice feeling texture to it so so not too bad for two dollars i'll take that originally apparently 4.49 oh yeah cards i ended up with a lot of cards this time so this was also two dollars and i'm gonna throw away this box because it, it feels kind of gross to be perfectly honest okay what do we have here what do we have? Okay, get out. Mm, actually, I may reuse that box, but this, this plastic on the front is really gross. 
and it needs to go away. Okay. Buy plastic on the front. Why is it zoomed in so far? Okay. Slightly better. Okay. So probably we'll reuse this. Maybe, maybe not. I'll put this in the maybe pile. Okay. So I got some long envelopes and actually these are really thick envelopes. So that's, that's nice. And I have some cards. They're all the same. Are they blank inside? Yep. Perfect. And they got a little bit of writing on the back, but I mean, basically instant journal card, right? Maybe even to just cut off the bottom so you don't have to worry about that or just cover it up. Nice. All right. All right. Let's look at, Ooh, whoops. Notepad cards, $1. What is in here? Oh, it's just, it's, oh, okay. It's just a notepad. And it's about as thick as copy paper. I don't know why. I thought that these, when I originally looked at the box, because I actually didn't undo the tape, I thought, I thought they were like cards with sayings on here, but they're not. I'm, I'm not mad about it. I mean, this is, this is incredibly useful. You can make a little, the little journal notebooks out of this. You could just fold up a little piece of paper and stick it in there. I mean, they're really cute. All right. That's, that's not too bad. That's not what I thought that it was. So surprise. Happy surprise. What is this? Oh yeah. I found this little notebook. This was a dollar. And I mean, I could definitely use this for like day-to-day -day things. I don't really need it. But the reason why I bought this is I really like the graph paper on the, on the back because I thought it was pretty cool looking. And then on the right hand side, there's, well, it's, you know, front and back of the same piece of paper. Um, there's this, it looks kind of like a notebook paper up here, but it just, it just looks really cool. And actually, actually these are all perforated too. Huh. Okay. And that's what's in this notebook. No, oh, you get holidays. Oh, look, from 2015, 2016, and 2017. So that's super helpful. Okay, cool. So again, the same thing, like I said, for those butterfly cards we just looked at. I found another notebook for a dollar. And this is just regular paper, but this is dotted lines and I thought that was something cool for a different variety and again these pages are perforated so that's good edges are a little a little schmood but that's all right because I typically dress up the edges anyway you did it oh my goodness this was a quarter and I'm gonna throw this away because this this is gross okay throw that away um, they're a little bit shiny. I didn't realize that when I purchased it, but it's, it would still be neat to tuck into a journal, especially if you're doing something that's, that's brightly colored. This would actually be a really good addition. All right. I found a mega sticker book for $2. Let's see what's in this mega sticker book. I flipped through it a little bit at the store and I think I saw animals in here that I thought would be really cute and I think I saw rainbows which I pretty much anytime that I see a thing with a rainbow on it I feel like I have to buy it for whatever reason okay let's put that tape put that tape back there so it's not all gross okay so actually I'm just gonna flip through it like this I don't know what that is okay so all right so we got some hearts those are really cool Mm, okay. All right. This is obviously going to be more for a more brightly colored journal. Yeah, I kind of picked this up because of, oddly enough, the butterflies down in here and then the animals. I'm not planning on doing a safari themed book, but I mean, maybe I will. I mean, these are actually really cute. Got some toucans up here at the top. Now, why would you put the stickers all the way up at the top and then put the hole for the for it to hang somewhere? Oh, does it, oh, maybe somebody made that hole. All right, I can't be mad. It was two dollars. Ooh, was that flamingos? Oh, it was flamingos. Cute. 
what else is in here? Yep. Got some rainbows. More rainbows. What else? What else? What else? Okay, and some letters. I don't really use letters all that much. Okay, sorry about that. So that was this. It was $2. There's, there's definitely usable things in here. I'm not going to necessarily use all of them, but usable things anyway. All right, I did also find some metallic thread for a dollar. And I thought that I may be able to use this either as a closure or as as binding to sew in binding we'll see i don't know this is actually pretty thin but i mean people use thinner things so that's fine whatever i also found this very large address book for two dollars it's actually in really good condition i don't think hardly anybody uses an address book anymore although considering i i'm con constantly asking people for their addresses maybe i should have an address book so there's not a lot of actual page pages in here. Personal gift guide. Hmm. Gift ideas. That's good. There's actually quite a, there's a decent amount, let's say, of pages in the back. But all of these tabbed dividers are so very usable in, in journals and I actually use them a lot. And speaking of which, how much was this guy? Yeah, two dollars, right? Speaking of which, I also found this general file. I've never seen anything that looks like this, but it was it was a quarter, and I had to get it. There's actually not a lot in here, so there's this pretty cool envelope, and it does have a gusset in the side, so it does fold out a little bit. So apparently, you're supposed to use this as a as a folder. Maybe this was supposed to be like a a daily thing, or maybe a monthly thing. You put your checks received and your sales invoices and outgoing papers and whatnot in in this and maybe maybe you write you know whatever month on it and you just file it away I don't know but the point is is that I really like these a lot and I figured that was fine for 25 cents and this is and and plus I get the envelope which would fit really well on the the back of a journal and now i can't get this back in here okay yeah yeah i did it look at me so going along the same thing as these as these i also found these index guides and these ones just have the numbers on the top and this is unopened so it's new obviously old by the looks of the the cellophane on the outside and also i found i don't know why my voice sounds like this today and also I found some more of these, these lettered index dividers, but there's other things in here. I just now noticed that. So let me get into this really quickly. There we go. All right. So that's more of this. What else is this? Oh, this was for like a recipe file. Cool. Oh, what is this? What did I, what did I inadvertently buy? Woo. This is some neat paper. This is really neat paper and it has, it has, you know, the writing on it, but it is actually re really, really neat paper. Okay, cool. Oh, oh wow. I got a nice little bundle of, and actually there's quite a few of these. That's kind of heavyweight paper too. What is this? Guests and gifts. Okay. That's fairly heavy. Oh, is that what all the, I, I just thought that these are regular index cards but they're not. Wow. Score. That's super cool. All right. I really do hate that they put this masking tape on here. All right, whatever. I'll get that off later. So the reason going back, let me just, oh wait, I found another thing that was kind of similar to that. So I found this, this very old Rolodex file because it says so, and I paid a whole dollar for it, but what's inside is what I'm interested in. Here we go. These little Rolodex cards, aren't they cute? It's the cutest thing. Stick it in a journal. If you hate this down at the bottom, just cut it off. But it's so cute. And I think all of these are unused, or at least all the ones that are in here now are unused. And I get these little tab things. Let's talk about little tab things just real quick for a second. So what I'm working on right now <clears throat> is this kind of sewing craft theme journal. And 
what I did. So I actually started making like a dozen of these. And I tried to use up all the pattern pieces on the inside. Y'all, I am drowning in pattern pieces, like real time confession, drowning in pattern pieces. So I'm trying to figure out different things to do with, with pattern pieces. And one of the things that I figured out that I can do that is super cute is taking these little tab files like this and just laying the pattern piece on top of it. Now I'm not, I'm not done decorating this, but this is just a pattern piece on top. Isn't that super cute? And then it can live in the book, wherever the page went to, I'll figure it out later. Anyway, how cute is that though? I mean, it's, it's super, it's super easy. You're using up the pattern pieces and I really, really like that you can still see the letter or the number, or whatever is up here at the top through the pattern piece. I don't like that. I can see the branding on here with, uh, what type of index file divider that I don't know what these cards are called. Apparently index guides. Look, look guys, index guys. Perfect. All right. So I don't like that. I can see the branding on here, but I'm just going to cover that up with a stamp or a sticker or, or something like that. So anyway, yeah. So that's, that's why I've been buying these is because I, they, they do really cool things. So I'll do a tutorial on, on how to make these books at a later time. All right, guys, almost done. I promise. I found this really cool book. It was, I think, yeah, it was a quarter and inside. I just really like the images in here. I thought it was really, really cool. It is a little bit shiny, but I figured out that you can take the pattern pieces and glue them on top of paper like this. And it turns out to be not shiny. And that is super cool. Yeah. Look at all these things. Look at, look at these boots. Look at them. Are they in the, yeah, they're in the frame. Look at them. <laughs> so cool. Um, anyway. All right. So yeah, there's not very many pages in here. Like I said, I just bought it because I, I really like the illustrations and the pictures and also the kitty cats that are throughout this book. They're just, they're just darling. Absolutely darling. Does this have a year on it? I'm just kind of curious at this point. Yeah. 1961. And this is from 1990 and this was also a quarter and this is just kind of newsprint feeling, but I did like these advertisements that are in here and there is some other, something else that I bought this for that I really liked and I thought it was funny or interesting. I don't remember what it was. I did, I did like all the illustrations that are throughout that shows you how to do the different projects. I thought that was cool. And no, I guess that was it. It's just the advertisements that are in here. So you could definitely cut out one of these cute, cute little advertisements like unique crafts or artistic crafts and just put it on that index card and it'll look really, really cute. Or at least I think it will. All right. So there's that. And I found a printing book so that I can have handwriting without tears. Uh, and this thing was 50 cents. There's actually quite a number of pages in here, but I really, I liked, I don't know, I guess I like the writing and I like the space that's on here. And yes, I know it does look childish, but it, it is, it is for kids. It's just cool. I'd never seen a book like this before. It's really neat. Oh, it's for first graders. Look at that. And I get this book is property of, do y'all remember these in school? You'd get your, you'd get your book and be like, oh, I wonder who, who had this book before me. I wonder who had this book last year. See, kids these days, they don't know anything about that. They don't even have books. They just have a computer. It's crazy. All right, moving along. I found used file folders for a quarter. Now this outside holder is fairly beat up, but inside these are fairly, actually they're, they're not that bad at all. There's, there's a couple of dings and dents on the corners and a couple of the tabs are folded over and kind of gross. But what I'm going to do with these is I am going to, actually, I don't have to separate them. Actually, I probably will separate them because 
the the spine that's already in here is a little weak um i guess i could because these are the ones that i don't know can you see these are the ones that have the little little three things where you can you can expand something so lots of possibilities okay so you can make a book cover out of this if you wanted to you can paint on it Ooh, that might be fun just to kind of just paint on it just something crazy and then cut it up kind of like a master board that would be fun obviously you could do the same thing with oh my goodness where is my mind today you could do the same like with a collage collage is the word holy smokes all right great you're doing great sweetie okay you know what maybe i'll do another video later and i'll just make a mess with paints because i do have y'all have a ridiculous amount of acrylic paints a ridiculous amount <sighs> crafting confessions yet again okay all right there we go yeah so there's a lot of possibilities in here some of these files do have i don't i don't know what kind of schmoo this is it could be ink schmoo it could be food schmoo who knows i don't really know but anyway all right so enough about file folders enough enough let's move on so that's super cool and the last thing that i bought y'all this was actually a mistake oh wait a minute no it's not the last thing i bought i did buy i did buy some ribbon this is lace actually and this is kind of like that stiffer stiffer lace like if i was making an article of clothing i definitely would not put this anywhere on the on the, on the piece of clothing because it's it's itchy it's gonna be itchy so 50 cents and i got apparently two to four yards because that's what it said two to two to four yards i don't know how many yards are in here but it seems like a decent amount for 50 cents i think i got another one of these i don't know where they are but it's exactly the same i did find some cotton or jute twine i'm not sure which one this is but it was only two dollars and that was a good deal i did find a brand new thing of ribbon for a dollar and i thought this was a really pretty brown with a darker brown on the outside i don't know yeah you can see that okay and i did buy some wallpaper border this border is actually terrible but i'm pretty sure that we had something very similar to this in one of my relatives houses you know back in the day yeah that's not good it's not good but i love it i love it so i'll use that it's just wallpaper board that's all it is there's no sticky on the back and i did pick up a thing of pink wrapping paper my daughter has asked me to make a journal for her a hello kitty themed journal and she said she wanted the light pastels to be very prominent in it and she also requested it to be full of pink so one dollar for this i have used wall wallpaper wrapping paper in journals before as a matter of fact in the sewing the sewing journal here there is some wrapping paper let's see if i can find it does this one not have it oh yeah here it is here this is wrapping paper and it is a little bit shiny, but it's not so shiny that it's going to prevent folks from writing on it at all. So this wrapping paper can 100% be included in journals, guys, um, especially if you find it at a good deal at like a thrift store or something. Actually, I bought that that wrapping paper, I think at I think at Joann's. It was on sale, but it was special paper. So it was special wrapping paper. So it was not like a great price. But anyway, I had I wanted it because I knew I was going to do the sewing journals. Okay, so the last thing here's my mistake. So because I was doing these, these journals, I was like, Oh, I should get some more of that like matte finish contact paper. And I said, Oh, boy, matte finish contact paper for only $3. And look how much is on here. It's so much so much. Oh, boy. Yeah, guess what? it's it's not clear it is absolutely not clear and if i would have if i would have read white sticky poster yeah i got got i got got actually i didn't get got apparently i can't read that's very unfortunate to be the age that i am and not be able to read so what i wanted to do real quick while you guys are still here we can still explore together and this video is very long I don't know why probably because i bought a lot and i've been talking okay so this is actually easy liner huh i wonder what i can do with this i wonder what i can do with this maybe hmm i 
don't know what to do with this. It is a matte finish. It is, it is sticky, right? Yeah, it is sticky, but it is completely white. It's not transparent at all. It's white. And it's, it's like not super glossy, but it is glossy. I wonder what I could get to stick to this. Ooh, all right, fine. My mistake is now a challenge, a self challenge. I wonder what the heck I'm gonna do with this. Guys, if you have ideas, let me know. I don't wanna throw this away because I don't really think that anybody is, would would actually use this for, for anything like what it's supposed to be used for, like a drawer liner or something like that. And I don't want to throw it away and I don't want to take it back to the thrift store. When I say take it back, I mean redonate it back. I don't know. All right. So if you guys have any ideas, leave me some comments below. I have no idea. I'm kind of, kind of thinking like maybe an alcohol ink thing or maybe, you know, what? I have some distress oxide right here. Look, this is why you can't leave well enough alone. This is why my videos go long. All right. You know, I'm just going to try a piece this is this is yucky over here anyway okay so i have gathered twigs distress oxide and i'm just gonna rub it on here and see what happens i don't know if it's gonna stick on here or if it's gonna go away or what's gonna happen all right so there's that you can definitely see where it's still wet i'm just gonna use my finger because i'm a messy crafter all right i'm just gonna rub it in here and maybe let it dry and see what happens Okay, just, just doing a rub. Well, I mean, if this sticks on here, then that means that I definitely could stamp or stencil it. I feel like the stamps may get, um, may get, like, really blurry to the point where it doesn't look good anymore. The stencils may be a little bit better, but obviously the edges aren't going to be super crisp. Okay, so I've rubbed that around. All right, so this finger is definitely gross. This finger is clean. Is it still rubbing off? Yep, it's still rubbing off. I guess that's the point of what this is supposed to be for, is to, you know, be, be an easy cleanup thing. I do have some alcohol ink sprays. Uh, maybe I'll come back and try that later. Eh, you just had to try it now, didn't you? Yeah, you sure did. You just had, you know, it's actually, it looks... It looks kind of cool, to be honest with you. If I could just keep it from rubbing off, because it, it is rubbing. Okay, look, it's completely gone now. Oh, that's so sad. All right. Well, if you guys have any ideas, let me know, because I definitely want to use this and keep it from going into the landfill. I think that it could be really cool, but we'll see. All right, guys. Hope I gave you some great ideas for your thrift shopping, and you'll be seeing some of these wonderful things that I that I bought this weekend come back in for some other videos and be incorporated because I really do like using things from the thrift store I feel like it you know obviously it benefits the the thrift store this thrift store that I go to is for schools so our, our local schools in the area um, but also it keeps things from going out of the landfill too and plus when I buy something that I don't like I can always donate it back and it's fine so Anyway, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.